Okay, so now we will be reviewing the ranking engine. So your ranking engine is the combination of the steam turbine and the condenser. So ganun pa rin naman, kaso ito lang yung ating i-consider, no? So at point 1, okay, this is point 1. Ito po yung tinatawag nating suction point of the engine. And then at point 3, no? Ito yung exit, ba? Exit or discharge. Discharge portion of the engine. Now, meron tayong tinatawag na energy chargeable to the engine. As defined, it is the difference between the enthalpy of the steam entering the engine and the enthalpy of saturated liquid at the condensing temperature. So, the enthalpy of saturated liquid, so this is H sub 3. Since at point 3, our steam is at saturated liquid condition. So, technically, energy chargeable to the engine is energy suction minus energy at the discharge, which is equal to energy at point 1 minus energy at point 3. So in terms of enthalpy, this is enthalpy at point 1 minus enthalpy at point 3. So enthalpy 1 is equal to mass of steam, mass of steam times specific enthalpy at 1 minus mass of steam times specific enthalpy at point 3. And then factor out mass of steam. So finally, you have energy chargeable to the engine is equal to mass of steam times H1 minus H3. Now, we have the engine thermal efficiency. O kanina, or the other video, cycle, no? Cycle thermal. But now, we are dealing with engine thermal efficiency. So, sa problem, pag walang binanggit kung cycle or engine thermal efficiency ang hinahanap, kadalasan, it is the cycle thermal efficiency. However, pag binanggit, might as well na aware kayo dito, no? So again, definition of efficiency, that is output over input. So, so ano ang output ng ating engine? So, since yan ay, ito lang ating kinoconsider, ang output lang po natin is ito, yung work ng turbina, hindi po yung work, yung network. So, E sub PE is work of the engine, which is the work of the turbine, over input natin is energy chargeable to the engine, E sub C. So therefore, E sub P is equal to work of the turbine all over energy at the suction minus energy at the discharge. Definition of energy chargeable to the engine. So we all know that the work of the turbine is mass of steam times H1 minus H2. Diba? Mag energy balance ka dyan. So, kung ito ang ating engine, ang ating turbina, pasok at point 1 is enthalpy si steam, and then labas at point 2 si steam. So, of course, this is mass of steam. This is mass of steam. No? S equal to C. Then, work ng turbina. Energy in, energy out. Ito plus ito equals ito. Simplifying it further, this will lead, or that will lead to this equation. So, Work ng turbine is mass of steam times H1 minus H2 all over energy suction, mass of steam times H1. O, ito yung suction natin. Then minus discharge is mass of steam times H3 since point 3 ang ating discharge. So cancel out natin si mass of steam. And finally, you have thermal efficiency of the engine, H1 minus H2 all over H1 minus H3. Now, other formulas... Uh, related to the rank, ranking cycle and ranking engine. No? So we have the steam rate na tinatawag. So ang symbol natin is SR or simply M. No? Steam rate is the mass of steam used to perform a unit work or the mass flow rate of steam consumed to produce a unit of power. So, kumbaga, let's say, kung meron kang steam rate, na 1 
kilogram per kilowatt hour. So, ibig sabihin, to produce 1 kilowatt, you need, you need what? 1 kilogram per hour of steam. Now, for a good design, a lower value of steam rate is desired. A lower value of steam rate means that a smaller quantity of steam is needed to develop the desired output. So, mas mababa yung steam rate, mas maganda. Ibig sabihin, konting amount lang ng steam, makakapag-generate ka na ng malaking power. Now, from the definition of the steam rate, we have mass flow rate over power output. So, ang unit natin, for SI ang ating atake ha, SI. So, we have mass flow rate in kilogram per hour over power output. Okay? Which is in kilowatts. So, but take note, paano natin kukunin si power output? So, power output Technically, power output is equal to work not, no? Work over time. So, this is per time basis. So, that is mass flow rate times work. Ito ay per mass basis. Per mass. O, ito yun. Ay, hindi pala yan. Ito. Okay, ito po ito yan. So, Ang needed natin sa mass flow rate is in kilograms per hour. And then yung ating work per mass basis is in kilojoules per kilogram. And then, uh, convert natin to 1 hour to, to what? 2 seconds. So we have 1 hour for every 3,600 seconds. Now, cancel mo ito. Okay. Cancel na rin to. Okay. So, kilojoule per second is kilowatts. Tama? So, ibig sabihin pala, ang ating power output is equal to mass flow rate times work per mass basis over 3,600. Okay? Ang unit mo niyan is in kilowatts. So, going back to the formula of steam rate ito, that is mass flow rate in kilogram per hour. So, that is mass flow rate in kilogram per hour divided by power output. Ano yung formula ng power output natin in kilowatts? That is mass flow rate times work per mass basis over 3,600. So, cancel na to. Tataas po ito. So, finally, we have steam rate is equal to 3,600 over W. Again, this should be per mass basis. So, in kilojoules per kilogram, ang unit dapat niyan. At automatic, ang ating unit is in kilograms per kilowatt hour. For ideal Rankine cycle, we have steam rate of the cycle, no? So we have mass, uh, sorry, steam rate of the cycle that is 36. Then, ang gagamitin natin work per mass basis is network since cycle, no? Pag cycle, network ang gagamitin. Again, this should be in kilojoules per kilogram. Okay, for ideal steam rate of the engine, so steam rate of the engine, that is 3,600 over, over what? Work. Anong work to? This should be work of the engine. Or, since engine yan, work ng turbine. In kilojoules per kilogram. And unit ito is in kilo joule, uh, kilograms per kilowatt hour. Another formula related is the heat rate, no? Heat rate is the energy chargeable per unit of work or the rate of energy chargeable per unit of power. So, anong energy? Gano kalaking energy yung kailangan to produce one unit of power? So, from the definition, we have heat rate that is energy chargeable times or over power. No? Equals, again, 
yung energy rate natin dyan, energy rate, that is equal to mass flow rate. Rate kasi, no? So, mass per time basis times energy chargeable. This is in kilojoules per kilogram. So, yung energy rate kasi natin equal yan sa energy chargeable pero per time basis. And then, this should be in kilogram per hour. So, cancel ito. Okay. O, parekigay mo dito. Maliit na lang yan. To indicate that is uh, per mass basis. Okay. And then, from the previous slide, we have the power. No? Ang power naman natin is equal to what? Uh, mass flow rate times work over 3,600 naman. Kilo watts. Ito ay naka kilo joules per kilogram. Dapat. So, having said that, so makancel ito. Cancel ito. Cancel din ito. Then, pa. Cancel ito. Okay. Technically, no? Itong part na to. So, ano na to eh? Kilowatts na to eh. Diba? So, so heat rate, kung ayusin natin, we have mass flow rate times energy chargeable over mass flow rate times work per mass basis over 3,600. So, cancel na to. Tama? Cancel na yan. So, Finally, heat rate is equal to 36 over W times energy chargeable. Energy chargeable yun. Energy chargeable. Okay. So, ito yun. Ito na po yun. Pero ano ba papansin nyo? Ano ba itong part na to? Yan po yung tinatawag natin steam rate. No? Steam rate. Steam rate din yan. O, steam rate. So, steam rate. Okay, so heat rate is equal to, so finally, heat rate natin is equal to steam rate times energy chargeable. So, if ang hinahanap natin ay heat rate ng engine, so engine ito, so might was uh, uh, using this formula, heat rate is equal to the steam rate of the engine times ano bang ba energy chargeable natin h1 minus h3 kapag kapag engine the relationship between uh, engine thermal efficiency and heat rate no so ito po ang relasyon nila so we have ete is equal to oh ano bang definition output over input, which is energy chargeable. O, oh, ayan. Work na engine. O, engine tayo ha. Usapan natin engine to. Uh, energy chargeable ito. O, oh, ayan. So, we have a thermal engine efficiency is equal to work ng engine over energy chargeable. So, ito po yun. Okay? However, Paano natin kukunin si energy chargeable? From the previous formula, we have heat rate of the engine that is steam rate. Right? Steam rate of the engine times times energy chargeable. Energy chargeable. Okay? So we have, this is per mass basis, uh, per mass. So we have heat rate of the engine is equal to ano ba ang formula ng steam rate? 36 divided by W. So, kung engine yan, work ng turbina ito. No? This is per mass din. Per mass. Times E sub C. So, ibig sabihin, uh, HRE is equal to 36 E sub C over W Okay. Multiply ko both sides. 
ng equation ng ng ano ng WT okay WT over EC so we have uh, WT over EC is equal to to what 36 over heat rate ng engine. And ano ba ito? So ito, kung hindi to per mass basis, pwede natin express yung work ng turbine ng per mass. So this is mass times work ng turbine per mass. And then mass times mass ng steam. Mass ng steam times energy chargeable. Cancel out na ito. So ito pala ay equal din sa so, ito, equal lang din pala sa thermal efficiency. So, finally, we have thermal efficiency is equal to 3.6 over heat rate of the engine. So, ito po yun. Make sure lang, ano ang unit ng heat rate? Kilo joules per kilogram or per kilowatt hour. So, yun po ang unit ng 